invite Dr. Vanessa Saloni. Dr. Vanessa Saloni, she is a doctor in psychology, PhD. She's a neuroscientist. She's also the founder of the Spiritus Society of Baltimore. Vanessa Saloni is also a medium, a translator of Spiritus books. As a national and international speaker, she has been training and teaching several groups of the Spiritus teachings and its therapeutic practices. Vanessa is also one of the directors of the Spiritus Society of Virginia. And her topic today is rebirth and the plasticity of the brain. Please welcome Dr. Vanessa. It's all about the rebirth and brain plasticity. We all ask ourselves, why are we so cute when we're young? And of course, we can become cuter later with the plastic surgery <laughs> and many other good things that science is promoting to us out there. When we talk about brain, plasticity, reincarnation, it made me recall yesterday walking at the Alabama street in downtown Atlanta, that by exactly the time that this city was being built, Kardec had already codified spiritism. Hmm, quite interesting. And here we are today. And what does it have to do with plasticity and reincarnation? Who are the people who were reborn here in this very city, in this very state of Georgia and the United States of America? If we go in a special journey about the mission of the Americas with the Spirit Emmanuel through the blessed mediumistic hands of Chico Xavier. There is a special chapter in the book On the Way to the Light, recently published by Edisse, that talks about the missions. And Emmanuel highlights that in the Americas, especially in the North America, we'll find the brain of the planet. And people are like, oh, the brain? What is the brain? If we say the heart, yeah, the heart. But what about the brain? What is the brain? What does it have to do with the United States? Does it mean we're going to control the world? Not quite. It's actually something quite different from what we understand. And only science can unveil what Emmanuel shared with us on the mission of the United States of America and the rebirth of humanity and its regeneration through this new brain and the transplantation of Jesus' gospel to the Americas. And what is it all about? What is the brain? Let us go to the book Evolution in Two Worlds by Andrea Lewis, psychographed by Chico Xavier and Valdo Vieira. What do they say? They say that, actually he says, that the brain is this wonderful nest of the mind wonderful nest of the mind. The United States, the mind of what? We have a governance, Jesus. And his team, because higher spirits always work in collaboration. A brain that is built for change. We all have a brain inside of our, of our heads, hopefully. Of course we do. The question is, are we using it? as much as we need to use it. So we all have a brain, a brain that is built for change, is it? So does it mean the United States of America is also built for change? When we talk about an election year, how often are we spiritists praying for good outcomes and for the planning of the mind of this planet to be nested in the brain? the United States of America. This is a national meeting of spiritists. We song the national anthem. Shall we also pray for good outcomes in the material realm in this election year? It's going to affect not only this nation, but the whole world. 
Are we doing our jobs praying at our centers for the President of the United States? It doesn't matter if the President is Obama or Romney or whomever, as long as they are good bridges to the mind of the planet. Jesus, the governor, into these very lands, the brain and the planet. As much as ourselves, we have a brain that is also built for change. If we're seated over here feeling hopeless, that you know what, I have so many vices, I'm never gonna change. Good news, in this machine, inside of us, we have the key for transformation. It is plastic, but recyclable. Completely different from plastic out there. So plastic that in the definition of plasticity, we find what the brain really is. It is an apparatus that God, with the divine architect, says Andrea Lewis, put together to express the mind of the spirit. It has an ability to actively rewire itself. So I can learn, relearn as many times as needed. As Kardec says in the Spirit's book, in the new and revolutionary concept of education, education is the acquisition of new habits. So we are prone to acquire new habits, condition ourselves and learn all the more. And to facilitate that, we have a machine that accommodates learning. And you may be asking, how? Don't I ever lose it when I get older? No, you don't. Never, never. Never, never. Science has recently found, it was actually 10 years ago in 2002, at the University of San Diego, Fred Gage, one of the leading neuroscientists of neuro, neuroplasticity, he actually disclosed to us that millions of times we can have new neurons being born. But you know, this was 2002. Spiritism is so much at the vanguard of humanity's knowledge that in 1958, Dr. Andre Lewis was the spokesperson of the beyond, sharing with us something that was quite amazing for the time, more understood today, that our neurons are born and renovated millions of times in the physical and extra physical plane. Science didn't know that at the time. Neuroscience actually didn't even exist as a science in 1958. Hmm. And then, most recently, neuroscientists are sharing with us that there are two main periods in our life in which plasticity is at its peak, actually, throughout the life. Mostly, and first and foremost, when we are in childhood. There is what we call the infancy critical period. And what happens there? Our brain is so plastic, it's like clay. You can, by exposing that child to experiences, you can accommodate a certain structure in the brain. Is that so? Yes, it is. So much so that in this brain, in childhood, we don't need actually to teach, but to expose. A warning here, what are we exposing our children to? Not only that, but we also need to verify plasticity in our adulthood. What is this? It's what Kardec talks about in the Genesis. Spiritism and science have an alliance in such a way that we can understand that in our brain we find room for the reincarnatory planning of this life, first and foremost in childhood. In the Gospel according to Spiritism, St. Augustine, the great mind, brings to us a true coaching program for parents. One that will boost the main concept of the philosopher, David Hume, in which we are getting into this regeneration level, boosting the virtuous man inside of us, in which we command our, our appetite, we tame our passions, and we cherish intrinsic values. And in that approach, we boost the main concept of honoring parents, in which Mentor Joseph says, we need to respect each other's rights and honor each other's roles, parents and children. And he says more. 
in the plasticity of our lives in the brain, we need to become scientists of our children, studying their behavior from the very beginning to customize what they need to be exposed to and expose them to spiritual beauty and to creativity, to the levels of Moser, as in the most recent issue of the Spiritist magazine. But not only that, exposing them to healthy entertainment. This is the new issue of the magazine that was released yesterday, and now you can access it digitally from anywhere you are in the world, free of charge. Thanks to the International Spiritist Council. And there you will find also opportunity to expose our children to the most important concept that Georges talks about in the Gospel according to Spiritism. Learn to take care of body because we're incarnated and spirit. By doing what? By taking care of our spiritual nourishment, our spiritual hygiene, and our spiritual activity. So we don't get to the epidemia of obesity that we're living in this country. This is the most recent cover of the, the Newsweek magazine, that, and HBO is going to be launching a documentary starting May 14th about the gravity of the situation in the United States. A lot that can be done as outreach programs at Spiritist Centers nationwide. And finally, we learned that in the plasticity of the brain, we can boost higher levels of being charitable because we are wired to be good. Isn't that what Jesus came to tell us and came to exemplify? We're better than whom we are. And when he came, he said, you are gods. In spiritism, with all the humility of our hearts, the ones we are conquering, we could say spiritism rephrases that by saying, Jesus telling us, you co-creators, you are reborn to be sorry for the emotion, to be God's. So let us be inspired in Jesus' words and follow his example. Thank you very much.